وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على عبد الله ورسوله نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another Ramadan daily droplets. And today we're talking about Ramadan as a month of worship, not as a month of eating and drinking. Allah Azza wa said in Surah Al A'raf in ayah number 31 Ya bani Adama khudu zinatakum inda kulli masjid wa kulu wa shrabu wa la tusrifu innahu la yuhibbu al musrifin. O Bani Adam, take your adornment at every masjid. Here it means every time you pray. And adorn yourself every time you pray. And eat and drink, but do not go to excess. For Allah does not love those people who go to excess. SubhanAllah. What we see is that people in the month of Ramadan, often it is a month of excessive eating and drinking. And that's really strange because it's a month of fasting where nobody eats and drinks during the daytime except those who have a valid excuse. But still you see that people make up for it in the evening by eating and drinking excessively. And Allah Azza wa Jal told us, وَكُلُوا وَشْرَبُوا Eat and drink. وَلَا تُسْرِفُوا Don't go beyond. Don't become wasteful in it. Uh, don't go beyond the limits that have been set for you that have been set for you in it. And Abi Hurairah narrated, رضي الله عن, عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم, أنه قال, من لم يدع قول الزور والعمل به والجهل فليس لله حاجة أن يدع طعامه وشرابه. Abi Hurairah narrated that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, whoever doesn't leave false testimony and acting upon it, and statements of ignorance and actions of ignorance, then Allah has no need for him to leave his food and his drink. And the reason we brought this hadith here is, this hadith shows you that eating and drinking is not the purpose of Ramadan. Eating and drinking is not the purpose of Ramadan. It's not about what you eat and what you drink, and whether you eat or whether you don't eat. That's not the, the purpose behind Ramadan. If, you, if a person doesn't leave false testimony and acting upon it and statements and actions of ignorance, then ultimately them leaving, leaving their food and drink, that wasn't the purpose of it. So it's not a month that's connected to eating and drinking. And Al-Maqdam ibn Ma'di Karib, رضي الله عنه, narrates, سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول ما ملأ آدمي وعاء شرا من بطن he said that no human being ever filled a vessel worse than his stomach. No human being ever filled a vessel worse than his stomach. بِحَسْبِ ibni Adam يُقِمْنَ sulba. It's enough for the son of Adam to have ukulat, some a few mouthfuls that will keep his back straight. فَإِنْ كَانَ لَا مَحَالَ فَثُلُثٌ لِطَعَامِهِ وَثُلُثٌ لِشَرَابِهِ وَثُلُثٌ لِنَفَسِهِ And if it is them and a must that he has to eat more than that, then let him have a third for his food and a third for his drink and a third of air, a third to breathe. Subhanallah. What a lot of people misunderstand about this hadith is they actually understand that the goal is to eat a third. The sunnah is to eat a third. And if you look at the hadith, the third is the upper limit. The Prophet said, فَإِنْ كَانَ لَا مَحَالَ If you've got no other way out, if you've got no escape except to eat more than a couple of mouthfuls, then eat no more than a third for your food and a third for your drink and a third for the of, of air. That's not the sunnah to aim for a third. So how about the one who fills their stomach full to the point where they can't stand in prayer and they can't worship Allah Azza wa Jal? 
And there is a statement about this uh, from Umar radiallahu an that Umar he said, Ayyuhan nas, O people, Iyakum wal bitna min al ta'am. He said, Keep away from, be wary of filling up yourself with food. Al uh, bitna, it is al imtila al shadid, to fill yourself up till you're full. He said, Be careful of filling yourself up with food until you're full. Fa'innaha maksalatun an al salah. Because it's going to cause you to be lazy about your prayers. Mufsidatun lil jasad. And it's going to cause harm to your body. It's going to ruin your body. Muwarrithatun lil saqam. And it's going to bring about sickness. SubhanAllah, look at the wisdom. It's going to make you lazy from the prayer. It's going to make your body, it's going to ruin your body. It's going to ruin your body. And it's going to make you sick. It's going to make you sick. وَلَكِنْ عَلَيْكُمْ بِالْقَصْدِ فِي قُوتِكُمْ فَإِنَّهُ أَدْنَى مِنَ الْإِصْلَاحِ وَأَبْعَدُ مِنَ السَّرَفِ وَأَقْوَى عَلَى عِبَادَةِ اللَّهِ وَإِنَّهُ لَنْ يَهْلَكَ أَبْدٌ حَتَّى يُؤْثَرَ شَهْوَتَهُ عَلَى دِينِهِ He said, but you should be moderate in your provisions. Moderate in your eating. Because this is closer to Islah, this is closer to making things right and it is further away from wastefulness and it makes you stronger in worshipping Allah. And no servant was destroyed until he preferred his desires over his religion. No servant was destroyed until he preferred his desires over his, over his religion. And some of the Salaf they used to say, لا تأكلوا كثيرا فتركضوا كثيرا فتخسروا كثيرا Don't eat a lot for you will end up having to lie down a lot and then you will lose a lot you lose a lot of opportunities and no doubt that from the greatest of the opportunities are the opportunities that you have in this month of Ramadan how sad is it that so many people waste the opportunities of this Ramadan because they fill themselves up with food. SubhanAllah, at suhoor, at iftar, after iftar. And they fill themselves to the point where they miss out on the opportunities. And that is really a, a really sad situation and something we must be very careful to avoid. That's what Allah made easy for me to mention. And Allah Azza wa Jalla knows best. Wa salatu wa salam ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Assalamu alaikum. If you're enjoying these videos and you'd like to keep up to date with all of the courses we're going to be running, make sure you head over to amauathome.com.